Anyway. どうしたのなんで着信拒否にしてないのえなんでする必要があるのそれは。Because I've been averting my eyes from the truth up until now. それより、昨夜はこのアドレス確認してたの。アドレスって。あ、ああ。なんだか気になるよね。そっか。So、Saki had noticed it too. このアドレスからのメール。なんか混乱しちゃってるのよね。混乱うん。単にダイレクトメールみたいな時もあれば、今みたいに話しかけてくることもあるし。これは、本当に無月なんだろうか。気になるよね。ひなたのとこには似たようなの来てないの僕のとこ。Like last time, all I'm able to do is parrot Sakuya's words like an idiot. 僕のとこには。ああ。着信拒否してるんだっけ？なっさけないよ。そうだね。どうしたの？おかしいよ。何？今日のひなた素直すぎる。最近ずっとそんな感じだけど。悪い？うーん。むしろ良くなった感じ。無理してないっていうか、肩意地張ってないっていうか。無理してたのか。うん。なんていうか、無理して大人になろうとしてる。え？ But I've been too childish. That's why I always thought I had to grow up. That's why I told Yayoi Sensei when I grow up. 私は思うんだけど、年相応の行動することが。本当の大人ってことなんじゃないのかな。年相応。無理して大人のふりしても、かえって子供っぽさばっかり目立っちゃう。本当の意味で大人になること。ひなたが本当にしたいことは何なの？ずっと心の底に押し込めてきた本当にしたいこと。I don't know. I've been trying hard to figure that out myself. じゃあ。昨夜は何がしたいの？何って、うん、私はいいの。よくないよ。私はだいたいいつもしたいことをしてるから。え、聞こえないよ。それでいいのよ。聞こえないように言ったんだから。なんだよそれ、勝手だな。女心は秋の空なの。I don't really get it. I'm pretty sure she's got the expression all wrong. So, I'm not sure if she's got the expression all wrong. So, I'm not sure if she's got the expression all wrong. So, I'm not sure if she's got the expression all wrong. So, I'm not sure if she's got the expression all wrong. So, I'm not sure if she's got the expression all wrong. So, I'm not sure if she's got the expression all wrong. So, I'm not sure if 説得力ないよな。悪うございましたね。釣り目は生まれつきです。うわ、聞こえてた。とにかく、今度こそムツキちゃんを探すわよ。でもどうして昨夜が？いつまで経ってもひなたが逃げ切らないからでしょ？僕が逃げ切らない。いい？ムツキちゃんは私にとっても幼なじみなの、親友なの。だから私はこの連休中ムツキちゃんを探すから。急にそんなこと言われてもどうやって？どうやってでもこうなったら目的のためには手段は選ばないわ。さくよ顔が怖いよ。いいの決めたから。だからひなたは協力してくれるんだよね。うん当然だよね。血を分けたお兄ちゃんだもんね。わあありがとう。えあそれはその。じゃあそういうことで、うーん楽しみだな、ドキドキするな、ワクワクするな。Normally she'd be giving me such a headache right now, but right now <笑>。晴れてきたね。The sun peeps through a rift in the clouds, shining brightly on Sakuya's face, revealing her girlish features that match her age so well. Her expression is far too radiant for me. 
I take the bus to school in the morning, attend classes or not, depending on my mood, go to the infirmary, and then go home to pass the remaining time. Today has marked the end of those days. How will I spend the five days of my long break? I'm sure I'll be fine. Up until now, I've been able to get through long vacations, even through summer and winter breaks. And besides, I've never seen her look so serious or say something so important. Yayoi-sensei may indeed fool around with me, but she's always been truly concerned about me. Why did she get so serious? Do I really have as much passion as she, as she suggested? There's something I want to do as well. I need to do that. If I don't... Mutsuki will scold me like that again. I lose all right to call myself her older brother. That's why I need to do something so that it actually feels like I'm living. But what? And how do I do it? By whatever means necessary, now that I think about it, I might not have had that assertiveness. Rather, I was looking for a reason not to go seeking Mutsuki. I'm sure that's why I ended up like this. I need to face reality. And at the very least, I must make it clear whether Mutsuki is alive or dead. For this purpose, I must act. This was my sister's personal space. She reached the point where she started secluding herself in this room four years ago, and then two years ago she suddenly vanished into thin air. Unable to bear my feelings of guilt, I forcibly falsified my memories, making myself firmly believe that my sister is dead. I realized that over the last several days. But Moon Bunny has been waiting in this room the whole time. However, what if this is a sign from her that means I left something important behind, so look for me? This rabbit has suddenly overlapped with Mutsuki. Is it a white rabbit guiding me to Wonderland? If that's true, then what would make me late? Wouldn't uh, that that would make me late, wouldn't it? I haven't done anything. Even so, Mutsuki's computer is suddenly starting up. It's like it had just been sleeping up until now, and awoke at this very instant. I instinctively turn around, the desire to run away building up in me. But at the same time, the scene before me is bewitching. Is the world where my, where my sister is sleeping on the other side of, these, of those monitors? Welcome to Babylon, presented by Edoc. <laughs> And just then, something that appears to be a fairy with fluttering wings appears in the center monitor. Hello, hello! Yonkoso, Babylon -e! Is this a hologram projector? To think that Mutsuki had installed something that expensive. Come to think of it, my parents would buy anything to soothe Mutsuki, since she was quite the shut <coughs> Quite the shut in. I hated that. Whenever I said, you always favor Mutsuki over me, my parents' standard response was, you're the older brother, so put up with it. That caused me to develop a bit of a complex, and it may have contributed to my decision to subconsciously deny my memories of my sister. But when Mutsuki left, my parents started avoiding me as much as they could. The fairy, which looks like something straight out of a fairy tale, scatters particles of light while fro frolicking around in the confined space of the monitor's light. Uh... I better listen to this again. Just... Okay. <laughs> Gotta be more careful about that. Oni-chan, don't try to be over-familiar with me by using that term. 
Although I think that, I ask her something else instead. Lem, Lem, Rem, Remu. The fairy that inhabits Babylon is named Lem. In Japanese, this is written this way. De -u. This name has four separate readings in Nomaji. Uh, Lem, Lemu, Rem, Remu. Without seeing how the original is written, it's common to misinterpret one name for the other. It's heard as Lemu by everyone, but in this game, the name is written out as how the individual speaking interprets the name. Babylon veterans would know that the name is, is written L-E-M. However, Hinata thinks it is pronounced Rem. Others may hear it as Remu which ironically can be written with the kanji for beautiful and dream. It's not Mutsuki? No, I think I've heard her name before. Come to think of it, it was from that voicemail Sakuya received. And also... うわ。お前バビロン入ったの昨日やろ何そんなディープな話題してるんいや、うろうろしてたら路地裏に迷い込んでさ。PKに狙われるかってビビったんだけど。なんていうのあれ。妖精…フェアリー? あれむちゃん来たそうそうレムって言ってたそのレムちゃんに導かれて生還できたわけなんだけどそしたら変な連中が寄ってきてドローに入らないかってまあ。Which means that this must be the same kind of encounter that they were talking about. わーい!思い出してくれたんだね!よかった! I can't stomach the idea that the hologram projected from the monitor can read my expressions. When I look closely, I notice there's a camera attached to the top of the central screen. Hey. As I say this, I immediately move out of the camera's line of sight. Hey. So the fairy's area of activity really is limited to that part of space in front of the monitor. It would seem that the monitor camera is a stationary model and can't follow my movement. This also means that Ren's field of vision is limited. As I say this, I go back to where I was standing, so I'm in front of the monitors. Well, I'm twisting the definition of here right now. もう、レムはせっかくズッキーに頼まれて大事な情報を教えに来たのに。ズッキー。お兄ちゃんたらいじめるなんてひどいよ。いじめてるつもりはなかった。ちょっとぶつりてきな特性を確かめてみたかっただ
uh, Inagaki, but the next time I see Yoshida at school, I need to ask him for details. The reason why is because I swore to find Mutsuki. <sighs> for some reason, I sit on Mutsuki's bed. The impact causes Moon Bunny to launch up and fall onto my knees. Are those rotund eyes looking at me? Rabbits on the moon. Rem. Mutsuki. お兄ちゃん。月にウサギはいるの?わかったよ、ムツキ。月にウサギはいるんだな。少なくとも、お前の世界観では。I will properly face the truth I've been averting my eyes from up until now. If I do that, I might be able to even see rabbits on the moon. I decide to look for Mutsuki's viewpoint. そうだね。何？ひなとは楽しくないの？いや、そういうわけじゃなくて、これって何か違うかなって。いいじゃんいいじゃん。玉のことなんだし。確かにそれはそうなんだけど。昔はよく一緒に遊んだじゃない。遊
おとといも似たようなこと言って僕をファミレスとかに連れ出さなかったき気のせいでしょ As soon as she says that, I suddenly feel shivers run down my spine. I instinctively stop in place, turn around, and glance at my surroundings. どうしたの There's someone that's been stalking me. Don't tell me that they have decided to make an appearance today as well. For now, I don't see a single sign of them anywhere. なんでもない。気のせいだった。ああ、そうよね。気のせい、気のせい。Huh? I have a feeling that we're talking about two totally different things right now. My dream last night. I really am having dreams about Mutsuki every night. But there was something different about it this time. What happened, Mutsuki? Can't hear it. ムツキ、もっと大きな声で言って。た、す、け、て。あまい。なんだって夢か。That might have been another kind of nightmare, but I had no headache. Up until a little while ago, it felt like ムツキ was just a short distance away. Of course, that was a baseless assumption. じゃあじゃあお昼はどこで食べようかな夢中でずいぶん遅くなっちゃったしね That voice abruptly brings me back to reality 合間にお茶とかはしたじゃないなんか昨夜外でご飯を食べるのが趣味いけないだっていっつも自分の作ったものばっかり食べるのは飽き飽きだしねそういう意味では僕はファミレスとかの味には飽き飽きかもしれないうんなかなか意見の一致を見ないわねいや僕は昨夜の選んだ場所でいいもうもっと主体性を持ちなさいよ男の子なんでしょ What are you saying that girls shouldn't have to be independent? That's a very bizarre opinion to have in these times But the place we、uh, the place we go to in the end is ね、もう最高うんうん大人しか知らない居酒屋料理の味を満喫うん<笑>いい時間だったランチの時間が夕方まででよかった Even I have to admit I like that food. さてとそれじゃあ帰りますかねそうだねもうこんな時間だし。Just as I expected, I've gotten exhausted simply from being around so many people all day. じゃあ、こちょう団地に向かって出発進行何よ、昭和はどうしたのよ、昭和は。いや、昨夜って、ほんと元気だなーって思って。それだけが取り柄だからね。そうだね。She's got practically unlimited stamina. It's like she's a cyborg or something. Hmm. I wonder. Well, the truth is, it's just that I have such low stamina from barely exercising. Yeah, that's probably it. Hmm. What's that? Saki is looking at me with a strange expression again. And one second later. So <laughs> cool. そんなことないよ。で否定するとかでしょ。ついでに少しは可愛い,いねとか料理が上手だねとか、うん、言葉を上乗せしなさい。言っててて分かったから話せ話せ話してくれ
ちゃんとやってくんないと私バカみたいじゃないほんとデリカシーのかけらもないんだから痛いからちぎれるからもう耳引っ張るのやめろって言ってるだろ何回言えばわかるんだよ